Uh, Toby, what a frustrating way to end the season. Two days washed out. He came down here, obviously, clearly tried to make a game of it uh, once put in, but just not to be. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we, we obviously had a clear aim coming down here. Um, the weather obviously scuppered, you know, the majority of our chances. Um, as it happened, obviously, Yorkshire, you know, it did more than enough for, uh, on their end and, and things wouldn't have been possible in any case. Um, but I think looking at the bigger picture, obviously, you know, in, in a lot of ways, very happy with the cricket that we played. I think, you know, we've been up there competing all year. We've definitely, I think, shown a, a lot of improvements, in particular with the bat, I think, this year. Um, the way that our unit have, have performed has been outstanding, uh, almost to a man, in, in terms of the stats and, and everything like that. So that's been really pleasing to see. Um, probably come up a little bit short in some games with the ball, and ultimately, obviously, it gives us a little bit of incentive just to find those those marginal improvements, you know, over what will feel like a long winter now, and yeah, have to gear up ready, ready to come back better next year. There's probably a bullet points way of looking at it. Want to be the Gloucestershire collapse? Obviously, Middlesex were going out to try to win the game, and it went wrong. Um, right now, probably that made the difference, didn't it, in terms of winning that game and not winning it? Is that the one that you, as skipper and the team, look back on the most, or do you look at a bigger picture? Um, yeah, I guess. I guess you know, it's always hard. Sometimes you need a bit of time to sink in. I think probably you know myself and and Jono. I think looking at probably the performance at Leicester. I, I think from from our side, that was actually you know, a game which we felt like would have really added momentum to to our sort of, you know, promotion charge. Um, and I think from realistically the start of that game, we were just short um, from ball one and that carried on and we, we got thoroughly outplayed. And I think, you know, if we really reflect and, and we certainly did after that game, you know, we, we for, for whatever reason that was, just really struggled to produce our best that week. And I think that sort of definitely halted a little bit of momentum that we were building there and definitely obviously that Gloucester game was was one which was different um, and had probably just a small patch where we maybe lost concentration but the one thing with that to, to caveat it is we were out there with an intention of you know winning a game um, and I think we would, we would never regret kind of those those situations and trying to make sure that we put ourselves in the best position I guess to, to move up the table we, we knew that we might need a couple of wins sort of, you know, going into the back end of the year and we, we prove right in terms of you know, what we would have required. So I, I think the Leicester game stands out more. And, that's, and that is probably the one match as a whole across the season, isn't it? That you look back, which I guess is quite frustrating in a way. Is it frustrating that Middlesex only just went down last year, only just missed out on going back up again this year? Probably feel like there's a lot more to come, isn't there? And, and again, all of this without an overseas player. It is, and I think, you know, I think if it happens once, you know that you've missed out narrowly and probably again, yeah, looking at it this year, I think it probably does, if we're honest, reflect, you know, just being a little 10% off it in, in different ways in, in certain games. I think, you know, if we're honest with the ball in patches, we probably haven't quite performed as I think this unit should feel, you know, like they should. Um, definitely across the whole season, there's, there's always been patches um, and, and it's not on you know, any any one individual at all. I think just as a collective, we've had just too many periods where we haven't quite either carried enough threat or been consistent enough. Um, but yeah, you know, these these things, you know, you're, you're always going to come up at the end of the year looking for, for reasons for improvement. And I, and I think there's, there's enough there and, and there's definitely enough ability and enough growth there in this squad that, that, you know, we should feel like we can come back stronger. As a team and as a squad, probably over the years, there has been that kind of, you look at areas, what needs to change? Is it more about just the percentages this time with yourself as captain, uh, obviously bowling as well as you have done for years because the body's allowing Richard Johnson as coach. It feels as though it is just that, what's that next 10%? And it could be overseas players, couldn't it? Is the difference between perhaps going up and not going up. Whereas in years gone by, perhaps there has been a look at, we really need to have an over overhaul of this or this dramatically needs to change. Yeah, and absolutely. And I, I guess, yeah, there's, there's no doubt, you know, when you look at the teams and playing Sussex here this week, you know, the impact that overseas players have had, you know, on their season to, to add to, you know, what's a very strong squad. Um, and I, I don't see us in any different standing to that. Um, so yeah, certainly to, to compete somewhere close to that without those, those extra sort of, I guess, 10% uh, advantages of, of those guys who can come in and really add some impetus is obviously something to reflect positive, positively on the guys here. I certainly don't know whether that situation changes and things like that, but it's certainly not for me any reason to, to see it holding us back, I think. 
like I said, the, the growth... This is much a positive, isn't it? That this year you didn't have them yet, as you say, we came so close. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, you know, it's down to us, you know, individually to, to find ways to, to continually improve. I think, like I said, I think in the batting unit, you, you can see, see that certainly across the board there, the way that a lot of the guys have come in and, and still, I think, will, you know, knowing that group all, all feel like they still could have contributed more, which is to me exactly the attitude you want to have so yeah I, I think there's a lot of reason to, to sort of still maintain excitement about what this what this group can achieve and like I said it does feel like a long time I guess to to kind of almost cultivate that to make sure that you know we do take time away um, take stock and, and everyone sort of recharge those batteries but certainly over the winter yeah we'll be making sure that you know, everyone comes together and, and recognises those, those small percentages and be ready to address that, you know, from the very beginning of the season. Thanks for your time, Monsieur. Well bowled. Cheers, thank you. Cheers, mate.